right, folks, it's finally here. Resistance 2, the much anticipated sequel to the PlayStation 3 launch title, Resistance Fall of Man. So what's the word? Great. The game is great. From the exciting single player campaign to the massive online competitive battles to the tense and thrilling cooperative mode, Resistance 2 is one of the best shooters on the PS3, and it's simply a blast to play. The campaign picks up where the first game left off. Nathan Hale has just survived the last desperate attempt to keep the insidious Chimera from overrunning Europe, and he's en route to Iceland where, surprise surprise, the Chimera have already landed. Over the next 10 or so hours, you'll leave Iceland for American soil, where you'll spend the bulk of the campaign traveling to a number of different locations in your efforts to stave off the Chimera invasion. Each chapter takes you to a new, distinct environment as you fight your way through rural, small town, and urban America. These levels are a real treat. They're vast, they're detailed, and they provide an excellent backdrop for the proceedings. The story and its characters don't do much to grab your interest, but that's okay because the real draw is the action. And one of the pillars of this action is, of course, your arsenal. There are 12 guns available throughout the campaign. Some are returning favorites and some are new. Each is well-tuned and deadly in unique ways, and you'll use them all to a good degree. Though you can only carry two guns at a time, Resistance 2 does a great job of making them readily available in appropriate situations, so you'll get to use most of them to your heart's content. But just because there are a variety of weapons around doesn't mean you won't run low on ammo from time to time. Another pillar of the exciting action is large-scale battles. During these encounters, you'll face Chimera of all sizes, and you will literally need every bullet and grenade to overcome them. Resistance 2 is challenging to be sure, but just challenging enough to make victory feel sweet and keep defeat from feeling too cheap. Oh, and then there are the boss battles. While not as tough as gunning down a platoon of foot soldiers, taking on the biggest, baddest Chimera is a whole different kind of awesome. The sheer size of these monsters make them a thrill to kill. And these big bosses, along with the huge environments, help give Resistance 2 a really epic feel. So even when some textures don't look great upon close inspection, you won't really care because the overall presentation works on such a grand scale. Speaking of grand scale, how about 60-person multiplayer matches? Resistance 2 is quite ambitious with its multiplayer content, but it succeeds to a large degree. In competitive play, you can play on a variety of maps that support anywhere from 10 to 60 players. In deathmatch, team deathmatch, core control, which is essentially capture the flag, and skirmish. While 30 versus 30 slaughter is really great fun, the coolest mode here is skirmish which divides your team into squads and assigns each a particular objective. Teams earn points by completing objectives and, of course, by killing the other team. These objectives switch on the fly, so the ebb and flow of the battle is much faster and more precipitous than a straight-up deathmatch. This makes for some exciting action, although you won't really know how exciting until the voice in your ear tells you that you have become the VIP and that you must survive, and then you see the red dots on your radar wheel around and hone in on your position. The best part is, the games are virtually lag-free, so everything happens dangerously fast. The other multiplayer option is cooperative. Now, this may be the most exciting way to play Resistance 2. No joke. Up to eight players navigate dense levels, trying to accomplish objectives while fighting off hordes of the Chimera. The level design makes it possible for enemies to come from many directions, which they will do with gusto. On top of all this, you aren't the versatile super soldier that you play as during the campaign or in competitive multiplayer. You have to choose one of three classes. Medics can drain health from enemies and shoot it to their allies. Soldiers have a lot of health and a big Gatling gun as well as a protective shield. And special ops have a sniper-esque gun and they're the only source of ammunition refills for the squad. So each class desperately needs the other to survive and this dependence makes everyone's survival vital. You can revive your fallen teammates or just stay alive until they respawn, but enemies come fast and hard, and the struggle to support your teammates, kill the enemy, and stay alive is tense, frantic fun. Whether you play competitive or cooperative, you'll earn experience points that go towards unlocking new weapons, very helpful, and new berserk abilities. These are temporary power-ups that differ widely and provide crucial life-saving 
or enemy life ending bonuses. This is yet another facet of the excellent multiplayer package that really solidifies Resistance 2 as an all-around great game. If you like shooters and you own a PS3, then smile my friend, Resistance 2 is finally here.